Hi folks, this is my first retro computing video in two months. I've been through difficult times. Today I went to my Lake Valley Retro Labs to check how everything is and on the way I did a pit stop at the newspaper agency. I bought this special of Retro Gamer magazine which has some Sinclair coverage, Sinclair ZX81 which interests me most. Earlier this year we celebrated the 40th anniversary of the Sinclair ZX81 and uh, I wanted to do a follow-up video one day but it took really months and uh, this video isn't really all about ZX81 it's more a general update. So here's the Personal Computer World Magazine, June 1981. So that's uh, exactly on the month 40 years ago. And the cover with the chimp and the ZX81 as the champ. That's really nice. So 40 years are quite a long time. So today I also bought the latest edition of the German CT Computer Technic magazine June 2021 so 40 years after the PCW magazine. Speaking about 40 years uh, here we have uh, the main board or the only board of the Sinclair ZX81 that's the PCB unpopulated this one is from a ZX81 kit and uh, this was my first uh, personal computer and uh, you know the story that I made the kit working so I assembled my first computer on my own. 40 years later I work as CTO in a company and uh, this is a board we developed this spring and as an homage to the ZX81 I named the board ZX21 issue 1. This board is for an all-in-one personal computer. It is designed for uh, 11th generation Intel Core platform called codenamed Tiger Lake and uh, you can see what 40 years mean in computer industry from this uh, hand layouted PCB to a multi-layer complex CAD layouted PCB for a modern PC. Maybe one day I do a video side by side with some technical background, but this is just a, like a monthly or quarterly update of what I was thinking. And I have some more PCBs in the Lake Valley Retro Labs, so those are unpopulated uh, PCBs of the so-called SJL68008 PC. This is a Sinclair compatible, Sinclair QL compatible design made uh, in small volumes uh, by an engineer in Cambridge in the post Sinclair research days. And in the back here, there's a next station PCB and this one is signed by Tim Bucher. Tim is a, a cousin of my wife and uh, he was part of the engineering team way back at Next. So this was a solder sample of the PCB and uh, I call this a design beauty and uh, my approach was to get as close as possible to the 
almost perfect design of this next station. So Tim and his team did really a great job. Looking a bit back in history, here's a unpopulated and uh, still uncut uh, PCB of the ICL one per desk. Uh, this is a one at one per desk is based on the Sinclair QL hardware design and it was a joint venture between ICL and Sinclair Research. And on the back you see uh, unpopulated and uncut uh, PCB of the Sinclair QL. So all those PCBs are good for long stories but uh, as I said I just came to my Lake Valley retro labs to check the state and uh, yeah maybe do a short video as a sign of life and uh, that was it so I hope you enjoyed this uh, glimpse tour which uh, was initiated by the 40th anniversary of the Sinclair ZX81 and I wish you all the best stay healthy stay happy and uh, see you one day bye